for joining us here on 2K Sports for NBA Basketball. With Greg Anthony and Hall of Famer Doris Burke, this is Kevin Harlan. Hey, Dave. Kevin, thanks very much. The Phoenix Suns have struggled the last few years, but they're trying to build a winning franchise again. And their all-star Devin Booker said, we want to see the city at a high level. That energy and aura. I've always said since I've been in Phoenix that I know the fans are there. We've got the support behind us. We just have to go and perform. Kevin, back to you. Well, they're getting closer. Thanks, D.A. Here are the five for the Clippers. We've got Kawhi Leonard. Paul George is out there with Jackson. And it's Marcus Morris. And it's Batum in at the five. And for the Suns, Booker and Bridges are the wings. Jay Crowder out there with Ayton. And it's Paul in at the one. Greg, we've got two terrific highlight-making teams, both athletic in so many ways. You know, it makes me harken all the way back to college. And one of my teammates, Stacy Ogden, one of the greatest athletes I ever played alongside. But we're going to see a lot of his impact in tonight's game. Down low. Six to shoot. Aiton kicks to Paul. Misses the three. And you could tell he thought that triple was going to fall. Jackson, that's a two-pointer. And it's Phoenix with the rebound. Well, he's a quality mid-range shooter, but he can't get that one to go. And it's sent back by George. How about the timing from Paul George on that rejection? Twice on the pipes. And here's Aiton. He'll bring it up for the Phoenix Sun. They get a hand on it. Leonard with the steal. Jackson passes to Batum. Teardrop shot. Second shot opportunity. And Morris with the lay-in. Yeah, see, Marcus Morris has the physicality and the frame to be able to be a force on the offensive glass. That's nicely done. Booker outside. Here's Paul. Good. And a nice assist from Booker. I tell you what, it's, it's almost like stealing to watch how he plays the game from this seat. And here in the first, closing in on two minutes play. And the whistle blows as the basket counts. And a three-point play chance right here. One free throw coming up. And with the defender draped all over him, Jackson has that strength to fight through the contact. The Clippers shooting their first free throw of the game. And last season, as a team, they knocked down 79% of their free throws. So those are numbers you'll be happy with. That's good from Jackson. And Jackson certainly doesn't lack confidence. A speedy guard who can fill it up in no time. George against Booker. And it's off from three-point range. And Kawhi Leonard with a very analytical approach to us to the game. Studies angles, movement, trying to groove in on perfect mechanics. I mean, he does it all. Yeah, Kev, that goes back to his favorite high school subject, which was math. And think about how precisely he has built his game. He started at the free throw line, then went to the low post, and now has added the range game. Very analytic approach. Night after night, game after game, Chris Paul understands where to put the ball and when. Nicely done. Jackson passes to George. And the Clippers miss again. And so it's Paul bringing it up for Phoenix. They trail by one. Here's Bridges. It's blocked. And the ball goes out of bounds. Last touch by Batum. His shot was hindered by that momentous mobile one block. And early in a game, these sorts of plays really can set the tone. And a little over two and a half minutes gone here in the first. Here's Paul. 
no doubt he's struggling right now from the field. Let's see if he can get it going this quarter. Here's Leonard. Lee Baz was put in just the right spot. Kawhi Leonard's length lets him play bigger than his size. Pass to Bridges. Now here's Booker, defended by George. Tipped away. Down to five on the shot clock. High post try. No good from Booker. And that's where you want to make the next pass. This guy is a good scorer, but the defense was right on him. Jackson passes to Batum. Inside. And George with the stuff. Well, you love the tenacity. Paul George cannot be contained when he gets near the tin. The pass to Booker. Good, and Paul gets the assist. And once he got to the 10, I think he was surprised to find himself that wide open. And I think defensively, that is not the way you want to start. Giving up high percentage looks, that doesn't typically end well. The feed to Bridges. And the bucket is good. Three-point play chance here for him. Guys, this young man does such a good job keeping his balance on the way up to the basket. Mikael Bridges solid at keeping his composure. And Doris, Mikael Bridges, how about two national titles in the three seasons at Villanova? Got better each and every year. And think about in his junior season, he becomes one of only one eight major conference players in college basketball history to average one block and one and a half steals while also shooting over 40% from three-point range. Boy, that is the perfect resume for a 3 and D wing. After winning two championships in college at Villanova before turning pro, I think Mikael Bridges has the next championship in his sights. That's an NBA title. Leonard dishes to George. Jackson passes to Morris. And no good that time. Good work defensively by Crowder. Bridges with it. Leonard picks him up. Bridges against Leonard. Crowder. Nice work on the board. He's paying off with the basket. Well, it's his motor that makes him such an effective offensive rebounder. Jay Crowder is going to play hard. Now Jackson. Here's George. Kicks it out to Leonard. Can they get it? A shot's good on the assist by George. What? Leonard's got five points so far. Kawhi Leonard very comfortable in catch-and-shoot situations. This guy is so good, even without a dribble. And they double up Paul. Passes it to Crowder. And it's blocked. Three on three. Here's George. And that one, good. Now you have to respect the focus of Paul George, not letting the defense alter his shot. Booker looking around. Pass to Paul. There's the three. And he's good on the three ball. Paul's got his second best. And that's exactly what he's looking for. Draining the trip. Top Leonard, defended by Bridges. Here's Jackson. Morris trying to free himself up. And the basket by Jackson. Five points in the game. Well, Kawhi Leonard's passing skills have developed over the years. And if you give him that much attention, he'll find his teammates. Over to the wing. That's good from Paul on the assist by Booker. Booker's got three assists now in this one. George passes to Batum. Dishes it to Leonard. Pass to George. Good ball movement here by the Clippers. Batum trying to break loose. Morris, no good. And so it's Crowder with it. He'll bring it up for Phoenix. Here's Booker. Eyes again. And it's good on the layup. They should continue to get the ball inside. The defense struggling to contain them. Outside Jackson. Fade away. And it's Leonard missing. The Suns leading.
side Crowder. He kicks it to Booker. And the pass to Bridges. Knocks it loose. Leonard with the steal. Three on three. Steps back and fires. And it's Aiton with the rebound. Phoenix is gone. One of three from beyond the arc so far in the game. And the dunk by Booker. Well, whether it's a dunk or a jump shot, Booker's wide-ranging skills make him a consistent scoring threat. Guys, they're looking for a spark here. Yeah, a cold stretch offensively, for sure. And again, it's the Clippers missing. And on an open look like that, he's very gifted at making the weak coverage pay. Score the basket. Parker four for eight. Shooting fifty percent so far. And this has been a great job of just getting into the middle of that defense and really scoring effectively from the paint. So timeout called here. The first for Los Angeles. Man, such an easy release for Devin Booker. Doesn't have to elevate that much to get that shot off. And what that means, Greg, is that smooth stroke translates into the three-point shootout. Booker with the all-time record 28 points in a round that leads to a victory in 2018 in that contest that was special First trail by six. George looking around. Count the bucket, and he's got a free throw coming up as well. There are nights where it's impossible to stop Paul George. He is such a strong guy who knows how to convert through these plays. The Clippers have shot just one free throw earlier, one for one in the game. Free throw good from George. Greg is a point guard. What is it you like to see from that position on the floor? I, I think first and foremost, leadership. Uh, it, it's so valuable at that spot. And, you know, you, you, you always got to have your head high because your teammates are feeding off what you put forth in terms of your body language and enthusiasm. So, you know, the typical stuff about organizing the offense and, and setting the tone on the defensive end, that stuff's important as well. But so much of how you carry yourself out on the floor when you deal with adversity and you know that you're going to it, it is really paramount. And here's Leonard from three. And they'll turn it over. Could not get off a shot before second violation. Phoenix leading by three. Outside Crowder. To the paint. Batum with the steal. And now running up the court. Leonard pushing it up. It's good. We are talking about a solid 230 pounds. Kawhi Leonard's strength and his frame allows him to get shots off under duress. Los Angeles shooting their third free throw attempt of the game. The Suns making a switch here. Johnson's checked in. And it's tied up with that one. An extraordinary improvement over the course of his career by Kawhi Leonard. He has now turned himself into one of the game's best, if not the best, two-way player. And the shot is good. Paul's got nine. And defensively, they are on their heels every time the ball comes inside. And so it's Jackson who brings it up for Los Angeles. Outside, George passes to Morris. Shoots from 14. And 
misses it off the right side of the rim. Well, you, you have to like their work on the boards, Kevin, particularly here to start the game. Booker outside. Fires from the wing. Kawhi Leonard comes up with the rebound. Los Angeles has gone one of five from downtown in the first quarter. Points out there have been hard to come by. Well, that's about recognizing a transition opportunity when it presents itself. Nice job by Kawhi Leonard. Out to the right wing. Aiton, the pass to Paul. And contact on the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws here. And with the offense getting right to the rim, at least they saved the layup. The Suns shooting their second and third shots at the line right here. Two shots. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. Free throw good. Paul. I am very confident that Chris Paul is a future Hall of Famer. Not only accomplished between the lines for well over a decade, both offensively and defensively, but years and years of service for the good of the game. And so Paul nails both of them. And that's the norm for him. He's pretty much automatic when he's at the line. The Clippers trail. Outside Jackson. Here's Leonard. Oh, and the jam by Leonard. And that's the efficiency you want to see from Jackson. Using his poise and vision to make a play. 146 left to play here in the first. Booker outside. Six on the shot clock. And out of bounds as the Clippers gain possession. There's a minute 34 left to play in the first quarter. Outside Leonard. Back to Jackson to the inside. Morris inside. Defended by Crowder. And there's Morris. That's good on the assist by Jackson. Well, this guy's a capable scorer from the interior. Marcus Morris adept at using that size and touch to his advantage. Lost contact on the shot, and now a three-point play chance as he'll head to the line. That sends Chris Paul to the free throw line. That's on Reggie Jackson. The Suns shooting their fourth attempt at the free throw line right here. Ajan Rondo's checked in for Reggie Jackson. Mind the lanes. Mind the lanes. One shot. Paul, no good on the free throw. Los Angeles has gone one of five from downtown in the first quarter. Points out there have been hard to come by. Rondo passes to Leonard. Over Paul. And the shot is long. The sun shooting well right out of the gates here at around 50%. And they pick up two. Paul's got 15 points. Well, you can't hesitate if you want to succeed in catch-and-shoot situations. Chris Paul, such a quick thinker. Here's Rondo. Paul with the defensive effort. Great rim protection to prevent him from converting. Beautiful. Johnson, the pass to Paul. Offensive rebound. Aiton. Headshot off. Boy, surprised he missed that. The defense just good enough to prevent that bucket. Johnson against Leonard. That's tipped. Here's George. Played in with a nice touch off the glass. George has got it all tied up now for the Clippers. It's all tied in Phoenix. And we'll be back in just a moment with the start of the second quarter. When a 
it comes to the art of providing leadership, CP3 had this to say. The guys on the team already tell me I talk too much a lot. You know, I'm, I'm constantly talking on the court. Just I'm a communicator, and I feel like um, it's hard to go wrong when you're communicating. Well said. He does a great job of keeping everyone involved and on the same page. And, Kevin, he practices what he preaches. He plays the right way and motivates his teammates to do the same. And it's been a pretty even game here after one quarter of play. And from what we've seen, guys, from the Suns, uh, what are you thinking so far? Just cashing in on second-chance opportunities. That's how they built this early lead. Yeah, the defense hasn't been there. They are getting hammered on second-chance opportunities. Johnson and Jarich are the three and the four. Paul out there with Booker, and it's Aiton in at the pivot spot, manning the middle. That's who's out there for Phoenix. And the first one drops. Greg, you were a physical, defensive-minded player. What are your thoughts on how closely the game is called now as opposed to when you play? It is, Kevin. And, and, yeah, some people like the physicality of the era I played in. But, you know, I like the beauty of the game with the spacing and the freedom of movement. And I think that's one reason why you see so much switching. It's hard to fight through screens without fouling. And ball handlers have become experts at drawing contact, even if it's, you know, incidental. And I think that's just an area where the game has changed so much that that ability to play in space is so vital. Aiton kicks to Paul. Just five on the clock. From deep three-point range, here's Aiton. And Aiton throws it down. What a fantastic offensive rebounder. Aiton so good at using his physical advantages. Quarter number two. We're about a minute in. George with the bucket. He knew what he wanted to do all along. The teardrop. And so Booker will bring it up for Phoenix. And the basket is good, and he's got a chance here for one more at the line. How about the ability to adjust after the contact? Booker, the score in the end one. And basketball in the blood for Devin Booker. I mean, his father, Melvin, started at the University of Missouri and played pro ball. Started in high school. Devin trained with his What's father, up? trying to follow his path. Free throw, good Booker. And we know the story, Booker moving from Michigan to Mississippi to live with his father and develop his skill. And 4.30 a.m. alarms to train on the beach before the summer sun, getting to practice two hours early and staying late. Booker, not a freak athlete, so he had to work harder and drill the fundamentals. The Clippers shooting their sixth and seventh free throws in the game. The first one at the line is good. That one falls, so he hits both of them. The Suns trailing. Ball outside. Booker outside. And he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. It's on Kawhi Leonard. You know, crafty. That seems to be the word most applied to Booker. Able to get the defense to overreact. And these are his second and third free throws tonight. And, and over the course of last year, he was up over 90%. And with a stroke like that, you see why. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots.
And that one misses. Well, Devin Booker has proven to be a capable shooter from every spot on the floor, including the free throw line. This guy has become a must watch. And he's good on the second. Second quarter of basketball, just over a minute and a half played so far. Rondo kicks to Batum. Back to Rondo. Pass to Leonard. Lock at six. The Clippers need to get off a shot. The three from George. And it's Devin Booker with the rebound. Booker's got his fourth rebound with that last one here tonight. One easy looks. Don't allow the defense to set up. What a beautiful fast break opportunity and the finish pretty good. And Batum throws it down. Yeah, you got to respect the awareness level of Rondo. When his teammates have a clean look at the basket, the ball gets there without hesitation. Ball's knocked loose. And pushing it up, here's Los Angeles. Rejected by Booker. And now here's Johnson, a fast break chance. Here's Hayton. And foul on the shot. He'll shoot two at the free throw line. You get a sense there of how challenging it is to guard DeAndre Ayton. Gets good position, makes the defense react. You know, you think back to DeAndre Ayton's college career. He demonstrated three-point range. And while he's eager to show that in the NBA, the Suns want him to attack the rim. First one falls for him. And Monty Williams said, offensively, Aiden's got to be 80% beast, 20% shooter. The reason they say that, Greg, is they want him to exploit the elite physical tools he brings to the game. If he can draw more fouls, he can get to the free throw line. And he's such a good shooter there, it only makes sense. Ayton hits them both. I think what you like most about DeAndre Ayton is probably how efficient he is on the offensive end. Now, obviously, the next step, he's got to raise his game and defensive intensity on that end of the floor. Nailed from three-point land. Rondo's got himself going with the triple, his first basket of the game. To the middle. A second-chance effort, and Ayton with the layup. And the Suns lead by one. And we've seen several lead changes tonight. Neither team giving an inch. And right now you love the chess match, right? The ability of each side to adjust to what the other is doing. Basket is good. He'll get a chance for one more at the line. That'll put Rajon Rondo on the line. That one on Aiton. The Clippers have made the most out of their opportunities at the line. They have yet to miss in seven attempts. One falls for Rondo. And when engaged, Rondo is special. A, a triple-double threat who does a little bit of everything for his squad. And Aiton gets double T. And we're going to have a jump ball. It's tied up there. And here are the Suns now. Back to Paul. For three, Booker. The shot, no good. And the Clippers will go the other way with it. Pass to Rondo. Here's Batum. He's covered by eight. It's a nice passing here by Los Angeles. Inside. And Kawhi Leonard with the slam. Because there's just so much force that Kawhi plays with. It is what allows him to rise up and put it down with authority. Shoots from the elbow. Buries the jump shot. Booker's got 14. This guy plays with such confidence and ability to score in a variety of ways. Nice. Kicks to George. 
Batum against Aiton. Here's Mann. Shot clock at six. Back to Rondo. Takes the three. Rebound by the Suns. Charge outside. Here's Aiton. The shot. No good. Great tee that time from Batum. Outside, George. Here's Mann. Off the mark there with the three-point shot. Suns have gotten exactly half their shots to go down here in the second. Five of ten. And Paul gets it to go in. Well, you think because of his frame, it would be easy to knock Chris Paul off balance. But this guy has concentration and tenacity. Really good job keeping his focus. Leonard, no luck. And so Booker will bring it up for the Sun. So they take the lead. Paul's got 21 in the game. And you can see he just has a great overall feel for this game. Excellent job tonight. And that's been his role pretty much from the opening tip. Get the ball to guys where they can score it. Phoenix has gone 0-2 from deep here in the second. Booker the pass to Aiton. And Aiton throws it down. Well, that's the court awareness of Mr. Devin Booker. This guy increasingly becoming such a good passer. Los Angeles calls timeout. You look at Chris Paul. What a contribution. Boy, much needed timeout. This guy scoring at will, and they've had no answer. Checked in for Johnson. For Los Angeles, they've gone 6 of 12 in the second quarter, right at the 50% mark from the field. To the inside. Whoa, that was a strong dunk. That is nice. Well, Kawhi Leonard might be quiet off the court, but on the court, he makes a lot of noise. Knocked loose. It's stolen by Rondo. Here's George, and then George with the jam. You know, Paul George is an exceptional athlete and demonstrating his insane dunking skills there. <laughs> Get this guy in the dunk competition. For Los Angeles, they've gone 8 of 14 in the second quarter on field goal attempts. Man passes to Rondo. George against Bridges. A nice shot by George. Just incredible concentration. When Paul George is going strong inside, it doesn't matter what he's got to overcome. Oh, Aiton in position. Up high to stuff the alley-oop. Elite athleticism from Mr. Aiton. No doubt on the dunk. To the paint. Here's Batum. It's hauled in by the Suns. Aiton's got 10 rebounds here tonight. So active. Book and the dunk by Booker. Go into the rack with energy. And the D afraid to cut him off. Yeah, got to chalk that one up to some shaky defending. Yeah, and give him credit for taking advantage in a close game. Those are the types of plays that can swing things in your direction. The Clippers have been at their finest four at the free throw line tonight. Eight attempts, eight makes. Jay Crowder's checked in for the Suns. A free throw good from Kawhi Leonard. No wasted trips at all. They're taking care of business at the line. 
Bridges passes to Paul. Down low. And Aiton gets double teamed. And the wide open shot from Crowder. A three pointer is right on target. Crowder's got the game tied up here for the Suns. LA's gone one of four from three point range in the second. Not a whole lot dropping out there for them. And there's the pass to Leonard. Shoots over Crowder. And Morris throws it down. Well, it's 6 9 with good athleticism. Dunking, not a problem for Mr. Morris. Give him some space, and he makes you pay. To the paint. Here's Ayton. And Ayton throws it down. Well, he's such a good athlete for a center. It's how he's able to succeed despite being one of the smallest fives in the NBA. Leonard looking around. Pulls up. High post. Rebound by the Suns. Ayton's got 11 rebounds in the game. I wonder what the score would be if they weren't controlling the backboard. Ball with the ball. He's got 21. Six to shoot. Seventeen foot shot on the way. Excellent D there from George. And it's Rondo with the ball for the Los Angeles Clippers. And Kawhi Leonard with the slam. Uh, Kawhi Leonard has averaged 25 plus across multiple seasons. We are talking about an elite scorer. Ball against Rondo. The shot's good from Paul. Paul's got 23 points. And they've repeatedly probed inside in the first half, guys, and, and it's paid off. Leonard against Crowder. And the officials call a traveling violation. And the Suns making a change here. Haynes checked in. The Clippers also changing it up. Kennard, he's checked in for Paul George. And Reggie Jackson subbed in for Rajon Rondo. Payne passes to Ayton. Suns moving the ball around. Here's Crowder. And almost gets it to go, so he'll shoot two here. Now you know this. Crowder is not afraid to get physical. This guy will draw contact and get to the foul line. This is his first free throw of the game. And a look back at his numbers from the free throw line last year. 78%, so not Take a break. too bad. Take a break. Two shots. And they now lead as the free throw drops for him. I just have so much respect for how Jay Crowder plays the game. This guy works so hard for every single minute he's out there, and you love seeing that. And both free throws good from Crowder. And here's Jackson. He's got five. Passes it to Kennard. And the rejection by Eaton. That's an encouraging sign for sure. Boy, when DeAndre Ayton is hustling and focused, he can send it back with the best of them. Ayton against Kennard. Outside Jackson, as to Leonard, and stolen by Booker. One fifty-two left now here in the second. And he's fouled pretty hard on that shot, but he's got the chance to pick up the points at the line. Yeah, Booker understands how to navigate his way to the paint, and he's not going to shy away from contact. Nicely done to pick up the foul. The Suns have shot 9 of 11 at the free throw line. And one of the highlights last year for this group was the fact that they were so efficient two. from the charity strike. That's a huge factor. And he knocks down the first one. Oh. 
Both free throws good from Booker. Boy, showing a lot more aggressiveness now after making zero trips to the line in the first quarter. Jackson looking around and Leonard gets it to go. Check out the vision from Jackson. He doesn't have to make the flashy play, just wants to make the right play. Payne kicks to Booker. Out to the right wing. To the middle. Here's Crowder, and he floats in for the easy two. Credit the assist on that one. The Crowder is not afraid to play bully basketball. This is a guy who will battle through contact. Jackson passes to Zubac. And he could not get that one to go. Out of contact, and he'll go to the line for two. That one on eight. First trip to the free throw line for him in this one. And he makes the first. And getting to the line and hitting your free throws, a, a good way to get back into the game. It stops the clock and extends the game and allows you the opportunity to set your defense. They've been perfect from the line so far here in the second quarter. He's perfect from the line this time. There's 57 seconds left to play in the first half. Up top, Crowder, covered by Morris. Bridges, no one around him. Offensive rebound. Here's Ayton. Slides through for his seventh basket in 11 tries. Well, they're leading in large part because of the work he's put in. The time in is 7 o'clock a.m. Jackson kicks to Zubas. Pass to Kennard. Rebounded by DeAndre Ayton. Ayton's got rebound number 13 for him here tonight. Bridges misses. Well, that's a case where a guy's trying to make a play, trying to take it up strong, but the defense was ready. Crowder against Leonard. Lock at six. And he banks in the layup. Leonard's got 27. Well, Kawhi Leonard is 230 pounds of nothing but pure strength. What a finish at the rim. A big-time effort for Chris Paul, providing a lot of energy for the Phoenix Sun. They've leaned on him for offense, and he hasn't let him down. He's now up to 23 points today. It's time now to go courtside as we send you over to David Aldridge from the sideline. David, take it away. Thanks, Kevin. Chris, tight game. What do you think your team is doing out there so far? We played okay. You know, we didn't defend as well as we needed to. They made a run. It's a good team over there, but uh, just got to keep the pressure on. We'll see if the execution holds up. Thanks, Chris. Back to you, Kevin. Thanks for the